Welcome to the assembly of God's mighty warriors. You are God's mighty warriors. The mighty acts of the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. So kindly turn to the person seated closest to you and say, welcome to GFCC. This is the assembly of God's mighty warriors. This other one, whether you are from here or not, you have to say it. Say it. Afodo. Okoyom abasimodom. Hallelujah. Absolutely, you are God's mighty acts. Today, God is releasing strength upon this place. He's unleashing might in this house. It's a war cry. He's calling his soldiers to arms. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 51, verses 20 to 23, and we'll check Matthew chapter 12, verse 30. Jeremiah, give me in NLT. Matthew, take me to my message. So I will read the Jeremiah. You will read Matthew. You are God's battle axe and sword, says the Lord. No, you are my battle axe and sword, says the Lord. With you, I will shatter nations and destroy many kingdoms. If it sounds like you as I read, you can, you can affirm with a loud amen. You are my battle axe. Take me back to verse, the first one. And sword, says the Lord. With you, I will shatter nations and destroy many kingdoms. Amen. With you, I will shatter armies, destroying the horse and rider, the chariot and charioteer. With you, I will shatter men and women, old people and children, young men and maidens. With you, I will shatter shepherds and flocks, farmers and oxen, captains and officers. If we were, if we were to peel the meaning of all of those words, you will literally be on your head screaming when you understand who God has made you to be, his battle acts. But you read for me, Matthew 12, 30. Let's go. Okay, some of us were writing. Please read that again. war this life is war this call we've been given to reveal and enforce the government of God on earth is war this soul winning winning mandate is war this kingdom advancement project is war this entire vision your vision what God has revealed to you to become that this is my vision for you is war and that scripture says there is no neutral ground if you're not on God's side, you're the enemy. If you're not helping, you're definitely making things worse. You cannot afford to sit on the fence, doing nothing, and be an onlooker, spiritually, physically, politically, socially, and otherwise, because this is war. You have to answer the name God calls you. And he says in Jeremiah that we read, you are my battle axe and sword. A battle axe is a large broad-bladed broad axe used in ancient warfare. They were specifically designed for combat and are capable of facilitating deep and devastating wounds. As I studied battle axe, I, dis I discovered that with just one blow, you can take out a man's head and a horse head. It's, it, was, it was that sharp, that sharp, sorry. If God says, you are my battle axe, God, God is telling you, I want to use you to cut off the head of that ancient serpent that has been keeping your people small, insignificant, and pointless. You see people blind, you see people sitting down small as if they don't have a future. It's not their choice. There's something keeping them there. And you are God's battle axe. And God is coming this morning to unleash you because it's time to crush things. 
in the hands of a warrior, a battle axe can annihilate the enemy irrespective of the armor that the person is wearing. So you are, you are so powerful. The, the Bible in Exodus says God is a man of war and you are his warrior. You, God is a man of war and you are his battle axe. So he's using you to slide things. When they saw, when Goliath saw David, he, mistake, he saw a young boy. If he knew he was dealing with a battle axe, he would have run away. You are God's battle axe. And God is saying, fear is not something you are allowed to, uh, to have because you are dead. Dead to this world and alive to him. Dead men don't fear. You are God's battle axe and sword. You are a mighty vessel in the hand of God. The temptation this season is to speak ordinary and speak like you are everyone. You are not. Say, so with you, I will shatter nations. With you, I will destroy kingdoms. You are God's hammer. He wants to use you to shatter the kingdom of darkness, to shatter the armies of darkness, to crush ungodly nations and destroy evil kingdoms. But that's not going to happen if you don't awaken to your dominion. If you keep talking and speaking the language of complacency, if you keep eating the bread of weakness, if you keep walking as if you are ordinary, you are not ordinary. I'd ask the media to prepare a picture of, an, of a battle axe. I'll, I'll prepare it there. So you understand, you can see. You turn this way, you, you cut. You turn that way, you cut. You are God's mobile weapon. How do we fear ordinary people who, because of whatever it is they believe, they look at you and you change your mind? I'm, I, I, I'm, 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 tr I'm trusting God to grow into the level that when I look at you, you are convicted in your heart. When I walk past without saying anything, you give your life to Christ because I'm his mobile weapon. You are his mobile weapon. You cannot talk about Nigeria like we are just here because you're not just here. You're seated in Christ in heavenly places. You are co-ruling with God. You are co-laboring with him. And we are the age of destiny. And God asked me to come and announce to you, wake up, soldier. Because you are my battle axe. There's work for me. There's an assignment for you in your family. There's an assignment for you in your neighborhood. There's an assignment for you on the street. You are God's battle axe and sword. And you are not up against a human element. You are up against principalities. You're up against powers. You're up, you're up against rulers. Ephesians calls them rulers of darkness of this age. You're against spiritual hosts of wickedness. In the heavenly places but thank god we are seated higher we are seated in that same heavenly places but higher they are under our feet you are god's battle axe and god wants to use you to break the pride of governors of captains of rulers of men who think they can rule over the affairs of men because in daniel he says i am he who rules over the affairs of men and i give the kingdom to whomsoever i desire it's time to crush things. It's time to awake. It's time to stop being the baby, the bread Christian, the meal Christian we have ever always been. I was asked to come and sound the war cry. To call his soldiers to arms. So awake, soldier. Awake if that sounds like you arise. And know that it's time to crush kingdoms. It's time to crush nations. It's time to terrorize terror. It's time to intimidate intimidation. It's keep hammering until you see results. You speak and pray and speak and pray and speak and pray until you see results. You don't stop. That's your hammer. Why? You are God's battle axe. So stop getting engaged in civilian affairs. You are a warrior. Stop acting regular and ordinary. You are, not, you are not regular. You are not ordinary. You are a weapon. You are God's weapon of warfare. Rise from the circumstances. Rise from hunger. Rise from whatever it is that the society is throwing. This is not your only home. You're seated somewhere else. Lean into your spirit. That's what Father would tell me. Just lean into your spirit and leave this side. Because there is work to be done. You need to combine the blunt force of prayer with the authority of decrees and the sharp, sharp cutting ability of God's word to crush and overcome every assault of the enemy. You are God's battle axe. 
You are his mobile weapon. You are the deadliest thing on the world, in the world on two feet. You are deadly. In the psalmist, Psalm says, when I stand, I stand for peace. When I speak, I am for war. It's time for war. Our opposition is not human elements. You will take back this city. You will take back your family. You will take back this nation. You will take back everything that has been taken from you and everything that has been taken from the people around you. You will make your brother's case your case. You will see a madman and you will be out. You will be angry. Why? You are God's battle axe and sword. This morning, I invite you to rise with me. As we are firm, and then I will leave you to, to speak. In the speaking, I want you to fall like hammer on those burdens you've been carrying. Fall like hammer on those things you've been, that, that's been disturbing you. If you've seen someone in a situation and it looks like nothing is happening, I want you to take yourself and donate yourself like hammer on that situation. Because you are God's hammer. And he said for ten times in that Jeremiah, with you, not another, with you, with you, with you that is hungry, with you that is buying Naira, with you that has all the excuses, with you, I will crush. With you. If God can look at Jacob and say, you warm Jacob, I'm turning you into a mighty threshing instrument to thresh mountains, it's time to thresh things. Jacob was a worm. He saw himself as warm. Gideon was the least of the least. It's time to crush things. So say with me, the Lord my God is a warrior. I am his battle axe and sword. God fights through me. I am a sharp threshing instrument in the hand of my Lord. Say it like the soldier you are. I smooth out mountains and make hills like sharp. I am God's solution to the problem of my generation. I am God's weapon of warfare. God battles through me. I am God's system of protection to those in my sphere. I have the authority to execute God's will and judgment on the earth. I am an overcomer. I am fashioned and furnished for a time like this. I am God's mobile weapon. God rules the earth through me. I am God's system of executing his will and judgment on the earth. I am a being of dominion. I enjoy divine authority. I am the anointed of the Lord. I am bursted in might and configured in fire. I am God's hammer. God crushes the enemy through me. I am the deadliest thing in the world on two feet. I am God's system of humiliating the pharaohs of this world. I am God's response to the rising influence of Babylon. I am God's plan of banishing darkness from my world. I, in a patrick grace, am God's battle axe and sword. Now begin to cut those things that you don't
vested with divine authority. So keep speaking, keep banishing darkness. What the burdens you've been carrying, now is the time to walk on them. Keep hammering until you have the desired outcome. Keep talking until you have the desired outcome. You can rule with God. It's time to make decisive decisions. Bring order into chaotic situations. It's time to settle ancient disputes. You are God's battle axe and sword. You are God's mobile weapon. God fights through you. God battles through you. You are God's weapon of combat. You are God's plan for this earth. You are God's plan for this time. It's time to 